Another cold start for us tomorrow. We begin with about two above in the Fox River Valley, about eight for you in Laporte, the rest of northwest Indiana, lower teens there. And throughout Cook County, we'll start at about nine above. So we're falling through the teens now. Luckily, we have a light wind flow, so we're not too concerned with a dramatic wind chill. But it will be a cold night nonetheless. We have this Canadian air mass sitting overhead. So skies are clear, a beautiful full moon, the first full moon of 2021. But it's going to be a cold, cold night as we drop that temperature. And we start with sunshine tomorrow for your Friday, but then we cloud it up throughout the day because our big winter storm this weekend will start to bring clouds first by the time the sun goes down tomorrow. Here's how it times out. We bring the cloud cover in for your Friday. Then Saturday, we watch to the south and west. We see a lot of moisture lining up from the Gulf of Mexico. That wants to feed into the system and really meet this cold air that's in place. So the snow starts as the sun sets on Saturday night. Best accumulation is the overnight hours. Several inches are certainly possible. So the time frame of it is right in the center of your weekend. 35 on Saturday, 33 on Sunday. But the storm still has to travel across the country. Once it crosses the Mississippi River Valley, it's going to grab a lot of moisture from the Gulf of Mexico and feed it into the system. And by about 5 o'clock, when we're going into sunset there on Saturday night, the storm itself right now looks to be near St. Louis. So that would put us on the snowy, cold side of the system. If it jogs north at all, and we start with a mix that would cut down on any snowfall totals. But what I expect to see, this is Saturday night, especially by 10 o'clock through midnight. That's when we really start to pick up those snowfall rates of an inch per hour. This storm, too, is going to be the heavy, wet stuff, so keep that in mind. Sunday, we're just going to have leftover scattered snow showers, so most of the accumulation happens at night. Now let's look at the two models. The European really wants to ramp up those snow totals right across southern Lake Michigan, possibly giving us 10-inch totals. The American model comes down a bit, a half a foot of snow calling from this one, but still that is just telling us that we are primed to do some shoveling this weekend. So the cold air is moving in first, then the snow arrives, and again, Brad and Marie, it comes after dark on Saturday. Okay, thank you, Mary Kay.